my general impression of the Buzz program, the U.S. First competition, is, has been very, very good. I, I, I view it as a, a great motivator for the students. I know it's motivated our staff. <laughs> One of the things that I've realized in being a participant in FIRST over the last uh, six years is that I personally have gained some experience and have grown a little bit along with the students. In the past, it's like we would go to school and have the engineers um, tell us what to do and why we're doing a certain thing, but now we're starting to question, it's sort of a retaliation question, you know. Like, okay, why are you going to do this? What's a the... long time thinking about what kind of robot we wanted to build. And I helped kind of organize what we were talking about. I got involved with this through my older brother. I saw what an experience it was for him, and I wanted to have the same things that he did, meaning learning the same things he did and becoming more involved with other kids at school. They treat us as one of their own. They treat us on the same eye level. They don't talk down to us as if we were little kids. We work on the same level and everyone is brought up by each other. It's a great partnership. I think we've learned over the past several years uh, to grow from our mistakes and uh, to improve the process along the way. We've realized, for example, that uh, complicated is probably not the way we want to go with the robot and we've begun to realize how to simplify the work and get the students involved in that whole process of getting to the basics and working with the engineers to come up with simple solutions to complicated problems. Over the summer, we, we noticed that Hasbro was reintroducing Tinker Toys and we wanted to find some way to integrate Tinker Toys into our robotics program. Our third grade team was very excited about the challenge. Um, in watching over the course of several weeks, some of the things that were better than I anticipated were the mentors coming in. I mentored little third graders and helped them learn about problem solving and um, helped them get the task finished. It's so different for me to experience working with these kids and, and the teacher to get them to understand how to start from the beginning of brainstorming. When we first went down to meet with Hasbro in Providence, Rhode Island, we wanted to get some information from them as far as the cap the abilities of Tinker Toys, the whether they could handle what we were about to put them through. I was very intrigued. Um, I knew about Buzz Robotics at the high school level. I was familiar with it, but didn't know the intricacies of the program. Um, but when I spoke with uh, Mike and Bob, I was very excited about the program, excited about the curriculum implications for our children and the exciting activity that we hope to promote within the school system. I was mentoring the kids there for first steps, helping them in the design process, the building process, all the processes that it takes to build the bridge. And it was really interesting to see them go from step to step. First Steps teams had five weeks to build a bridge using the Tinker Toys and the bridge had to span a two-foot gap and it had to support a brick at its midpoint. They were only allowed to use the Tinker Toys in their kit. Um, they had just over five weeks to do that and that's all we told them. We made it out of Tinker Toys and it took about four weeks to make it or five and, and it took us a long time because our bridge um, collapsed. This is, was our notebook that we used. Um, this is where we came up with what um, kind of bridge we can do. It's a nice thing for that grade level too because there's so yeah. much paper and pencil curriculum. It's an opportunity for someone to it use a different right thinking process and do the hands on. Machines, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it goes right with the science unit. There seemed to be an even amount of boys and girls, and I was pretty surprised at that at a young age. And um, I saw that they worked together well and I also saw that there are a few kids that are really shy, but then once you got them talking and talking about what they were doing, they seemed to open up and work a little more. I loved it. I couldn't believe the look on the kids' faces when they really got together and started uh, showing off what they had done for their project at the school. And what amazed me even more 
when the competition was completed and started giving out the awards were the teachers and the way they felt toward what they had succeeded in doing with those kids. Young kids really taking advantage of this little engineering project and uh, coming out feeling on top like they had really accomplished something that was grown up. The student team members um, raised over $1,700 for community charities and causes that we participated in this year. For instance, we did demos and we walked at the MS Walk and the Walk for Cystic Fibrosis. The biggest event that we did was the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life, which consists of a 24-hour relay on a track. We pitched a tent and it took a while and it was a really interesting experience. You know how many problems we had with bungee cords. And from pitching the tent to walking around the track all 24 hours, we had a lot of fun and we came together as a group because we had been really tight, but it was fun to go camping in the wilderness. To continue with our Safety First initiative this year, Buzz is sending up 3x9 banners up to first so they can hang it at each regional and national event. Hopefully these banners will remind all first teams to keep safety their first priority. It means community, it means a big family. And initially, what we consider Buzz in infield is a robot, but he's also an inspiration. It just means giving the opportunity to like students and, and mentors to like work together and learn from each other. Buzz is science in action. It also means like, Tinker Toys. It's an opportunity for these students to express themselves, to go forward, represent our community. Buzz keeps reminding me over and over again that I have to deal with people every day in a gracious, professional way. Therapy. One word, therapy. I've got no idea. Well, it means I have a lot of fun with a lot of kids. A mushy mind. I hope it fits. <laughs> How are you? Oh, thanks. Okay. Hello. Hey, ready? Hey. 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 Hey.